Hello, how you doing? My name is Ehi Aemio. I'm the guy who loves to teach people math for a hobby. Sometimes I get paid for it. I like to see children or uh, students who claim they have problem in math move from F and D students to a B and A student. That's my joy. This is the third part of the series. From my 10 years experience teaching and tutoring math, I came up with six foundation problems I feel the average student must understand before they can be good or do well in their math or algebra class. If you have a problem like this too, which is the addition of fractions and uh, subtraction of fractions, there are basic things you must understand. There are four kinds of Eloy's common denominators and you have mixed and improper fractions, okay? When you're doing Lloyd's common denominator, and the denominators are the same, like seven and seven, the denominator is always seven. The second kind, when one is a multiple of the other, like 10 is a multiple of five. You have five in 10, because two times five is 10, just take the bigger number. I call it father and son relationship. If you have four and three, three is a prime number, because it can only be divided by one and itself. It has no relationship with any other thing. So we just multiply. 4 times 3 is 12. That's the LCD. For 4 and 6, 4 is basically 2 times 2. And 6 is 2 times 3. We take the longest chain of each of the numbers we see there. I take the longest 2. I ignore that. And I take the longest 3. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. So the LCD, lowest common denominator of 4 and 6 is 12. Those are the four kinds of um, lowest common denominator you can have. So now, let's solve these two problems here. Whenever I have whole numbers and it's a multi addition, I just add. 3 plus 1 is 4. Now, the lowest common denominator of 9 and 5 5 is a prime number. It can only be divisible by 5 and 1. No relationship with 9 whatsoever, so I have to multiply. 9 times 5 is 45. What do I do next? I have to find the numerator for this side and the numerator for this other side. So 45 divided by 9 gives you 5. 5 times 2 is 10. Plus 45 divided by 5 is 9. 9 times 4 is 36. So you divide by the denominator, and the answer is multiplied by the numerator. So I now have 4, whole number, 10 times 10 plus 36 is 46, divided by 45. Now this is an improper fraction, because a small number is carrying a big number. That's not allowed. 2 over 7 is a proper fraction. 7 is carrying 2. But 7 over 2 is an improper fraction. 2 is too heavy for 7. Or rather, 7 is too heavy for 2. So when you do the math, you put the denominator out here and the numerator in here. 7 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. When you subtract, you get a 1. So it's answer, remainder over denominator, which is equal to the answer here is um, 3. The remainder is 1, and the denominator is always 2. So 7 divided by 2 is 3 and a half. And to, to go from mixed numbers back to improper fraction, all you have to do is multiply 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 gives you 7 over 2. So this is how you go from improper fraction to mixed number, and from mixed number back to improper fraction. So if I do the math, 46 will be inside the numerator and 45 outside. I have uh, 46, 46 divided by 45 is 1. When I subtract 40, 45, 5, 45 times 1 is 45, I have a remainder 1. So the answer is one whole number, the remainder is 1, and the denominator is 45. But what do we do with this plus 4? We add 4 plus 1. So that gives us 5 whole number, 1 over 45. The other problem, which is a subtraction problem, is basically the same thing. So let me repeat what we have here. But in this case, 3 minus 1 is going to give us two whole numbers. 
everything else is the same. 10, 36, 45, but the sign is a negative, minus, because there's a minus there. So it goes 2, um, what will happen? Yeah, when you subtract, okay, we have a problem here. 10 is too small to be subtracted from 36. So I have to borrow from 2. And when I borrow from 2, I have 1 left. That 1 I add here is always the value of the denominator. So I now have 45 plus 10 minus 36 over 45. Whenever you borrow from the whole number and add to a smaller number to subtract, it's the value of the denominator. So I have one whole number, 55 minus 36 over 45, and that end result will be one whole number, 19 over 45. That's how you subtract and add fractions, okay? So keep in mind, encourage one another in class or your place of work. When you see anything wrong, like racism or discrimination, don't just turn the other cheek or believe it's good to treat certain people a certain way, speak up. America is a United Nation. United we stand. No one should be left behind. We must encourage one another to excel and do better. Thank you.